So I think that AEW cannot book heavyweights. Now I understand this because every single time I tune in to AEW programming, I always expect to see someone going through a table. I always expect to see someone flying through the ring and almost breaking their neck. I'm all, I always seem to find people who are just in a death match of some sort and they love death matches. Now, I understand where this comes from with WWE almost overly focusing on heavyweight wrestlers and AEW being a brand that came to life really because of how AEW has been treating their top stars, letting go of stars because they don't fit the AEW or rather WWE pers uh, personality or, or, or build or, or appearance. So they, they had to create an alternative where people who don't fit that main events image that WWE always wanted their wrestlers to have can go and actually find success, be world champion, be the top guy in a promotion that tries their hardest to become good. But then the problem with all of this is as much as the over focus or over reliance on big guys and big muscly guys is a problem since of course some will have to use substance abuses like they would have to literally uh, use steroids to, to overtrain and all that and obviously over the long term that becomes a problem because of how the muscles are always going to have a problem with quick and easy boosts to them rather and uh, it was a good alternative ultimately when they started but now i, I see aw just almost never using big guys in a, in a in a in a huge context like that you know what i mean like how, how they were able to fumble so many people is insane to me but i'm gonna give it time even though i do think tony khan needs to find a way he really needs to find a way to either balance or create like a a a, a nice competition between them because Big guys bring competition. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to build up Daniel Bryan when he's facing a Batista and all those people, when he's facing a, a Triple H. It's easy to build up a Kofi Kingston or, or any of these small guys when they had to go after people who were uh, realistically not their match, rather. And I, I wonder if this is intentional from Tony Khan or AEW, or if maybe people would aren't receiving big guys at WWE and AEW, because I think maybe people who, who love AEW, some of them might actually prefer the cruiserweight spin at the top and all that, and all the death matches and all that. But let's talk about a few people who I have, I'm, I'm sad that AEW is not utilizing the the way they're supposed to. I'm going to start with, the, with, with one of the newer people, rather, which is Big Bill, who from WWE was treated, especially when he went to the main roster, was treated very well, being in the in the match for the Universal Championship, getting the biggest pops. I actually thought at some point the guy was going to win that match. I don't know why, but I was kind of convinced that that man is going to win that match, but he didn't actually, but... After that, he had those problems with mental health, uh, mental health issues. He had he had like real world problems, which you understood. And he said he's trying to conquer them, and he's conquered them. He came back as Big Bill in the indie scene, looking extremely shredded, looking really menacing. Um, and then he came to AW, and then I don't know what happened, but he's not he used like he's not he's not the way I wanted him to be. He even won the the tag team championship but I didn't I don't I don't really I didn't care about that whole thing that whole group that group, that group of stress to me but anyway but that man should be out here fighting with other big men for the AW world champ he should be fighting some more Joe even if he's going to lose but he's supposed to be the guy who, who comes out and just like he's that guy bro. Like, but you know what I mean maybe it's those dimples who knows bro but I wish AW would find a way to utilize these guys, not just as 
and his muscle men, because because they like doing that. Like most of the guys I'm going to talk about here, I I use this muscle men, and that's just not good enough, especially for the person I'm going to talk about last. Just not good enough. Um, next, we're going to talk about Luciosaurus. Luciosaurus has one well, of the people who when AEW started on the first head, this weird ass gravitation towards them. So it's like, man. Yeah, a dinosaur, but like, I mean, it makes no sense why we love you so much. But it's like, you're so amazing. We don't understand. But over time, I, I, when, after he partnered up with uh, Jungle Boy, his whole thing was just Jungle Boy's uh, entourage, entourage of Bush or anything like that. He didn't look like a standalone big guy. He was still popular at the time. Now he's not nothing much. I think maybe because it's heel, but that's not, that's just not it because. Luchasaurus could have been such a character for AEW, such a a prominent, huge, larger than life character that that also dwells in fantasy or rather history, like like dinosaurs. I wonder, I really do, if this whole Christian Cage thing is gonna lead him somewhere. Because Christian Cage as much as is killing it. But like we can't have Lucha Soros go from being loved and considered the best in AW or one of the best in AW to teaming up with Jungle Boy and Jack Perry. And then after that turning heel and going back to being a whole muscle man. Like I just I I'll just I'm not I'm not a fan of that. Man, this man should at least hold the internet the international championship from from this guy. What's this guy? Uh Hodge Cassidy. Because they made me, I don't know why he's still champion right now. I don't I know like I hate him or anything. It's just like, ah, come on, bro. You know? And then this guy can actually get to a point where he can contend with your Samoa Joes, your, 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 your AJ, what's it called? No, AJ. Hangman Page, you know, all these guys. I really hope at some point AW is going to think about this and make these guys. What they are supposed to be in the roster. Next, we got Lance Archer. Lance Archer, I like most of those people here. Yeah. Was well, someone in the beginning? I thought, yeah, I'm not a fan of this guy. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this guy. I didn't care for him. I didn't care for him at all. But at the same time, I recognize that he is very dominant. He had Jack the Snake Roberts. He had, he has a very dominant vibe with him. Even won the. The New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, U.S. Championship. That man was was on the up and up, and I think AEW tried to push him well. I uh, did, uh, yeah. AEW did try to push him, but after he lost uh, the match for the AEW World Champion, uh, it, it's just been someone who's been called up there and there. I don't even know. Is it still? I don't know. But that guy was one of the people who could have been one of the. The, the 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 people who you put in in a heavyweight bout and the match seems very great you know what I mean aggressive you know what I mean uh, we need people like that we need, we need fights that don't need people flying in in the table man. I'm just I cannot lie to you because AEW is just ninety percent that and I'm worried like I'm, even big guys are jumping to tables now I don't it's like it's like they are trying so hard. To focus on theatrics or to focus to focus on 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 fighting that they are trying to hide that they can't create better stories. I'm just assuming, but I'm worried about this whole AW thing, man. It's worrying me. I cannot lie to you. Next, we got the butcher. The butcher is someone I didn't know before AW. When I saw the man, I was like, oh shit. This man looks like the you know, you know, you know movies or no, you know games. Or movies rather, where there's only gonna be that butcher character who's like the, the boss before the actual boss who's like the swinging guy. Like the butcher is only someone who's like who's powerful, bro. Like who's it was like it was like it was like aggressive and all that. Like I, I I thought that guy was gonna be presented that way. He looks that way. That man has has WWF vibes when I see him. I don't know how that man was not pushed to the moon. He was pushed as a as a tag team wrestler, but that man should have been pushed to the moon, bro. That man should have been, that man should have went far, bro. <laughs> but now I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say maybe fans. 
I think if a, if a company does well into receiving and, and, pre, and presenting something, it's not going to always work. It's not going to always work. But it should always be someone who can go out of that segment or that era of his and say, I was the best this can be. I, I played my character as well as possible. I, I got enough. I got enough opportunities that even if I didn't make it, people know who I am, where I've come from, and all of that. Like I would say, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman didn't really become the most successful wrestler, even though he looks and everything. In like he's that guy, but we cannot. None of us can say Braun Strowman lacked. Braun Strowman didn't do his job well. Braun Strowman didn't go hard when it comes to becoming that guy. Prostolin did everything he can. And we appreciate him for that. Uh, he did big men amazingly. Uh, even though he's well again, but to have but so the butcher is someone who character wise, look wise, aesthetic wise, all that could have been one of the most interesting big men characters. But now he's still part of a group. He's still a muscle. It's just, man, AEW making this guy's muscle is, is pissing me off so bad. <laughs> pissing me off so bad. Ah, it's fine. Anyways. Oh, damn. Sick. So we've got also, uh, well, what's his name? Brian Cage. Brian Cage, bro. That man. That man. When he was fighting Moxley for the for the belts, there were people who were really like convinced he's going to beat Moxley. I was like, I, I don't even know this, man. Now, I, I, granted, I didn't watch a lot of promotions. So before you come for me, I didn't really watch a lot of promotions before uh, at WWE, AW, and all those people. And I, I've only started watching now, but I didn't know who Brian Cage was. I, I, last time I watched CNA was when there was Peck Angle and all that. And even then, I was still young. I was just like, who cares? So, Brian Cage, I feel like I'm saying the wrong word, salesperson. Brian Cage, you know, the guy, the Biff Buff guy. That guy. So Brian Cage is someone who I saw being one of the players after the whole Moxley thing. But after losing to Moxley and losing in the TNT thing and also getting that FCW champion, the FCW championship can, can be a curse, isn't it? That FCW championship can be a curse. I don't, I don't understand how every single time I see someone with that belt is not going too well. Uh, is it me? I know, man. I'm, I'm not a fan of the belt. I'm not a fan of the belt at all. But when that man won that belt and then lost it uh, to, I think it was the rock, uh, the the rock guy, the yeah, the car. Uh, oh man, I forget. I forget his name. Yeah. All right. So that guy from then kept on just being away from television. And I, I think I think I read something at some point where they said his wife is saying he's not being treated well in AEW or something like that. I'm not sure how true that is, but I remember reading something like that. But ultimately, that man has one of the most rich arsenals when it comes to wrestling. He's very, very built, like stead all the time. There's no natty there. There's no way that man is natty. Anyways, but when it comes to wrestling and all that he is doing he does three that those matches would mostly were amazing i enjoyed those matches ex you know, i enjoyed those matches extremely and i i'm 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 curious to know how they're gonna go about uh revamping his character because currently it's just he's he's a goon too you know what i mean like, he's also one of the people who are goons bro. like why, why, why are we why are we doing this aw bro he's one of the people who are goons too like, we, and I go, at one level i will whatever man that's fine next we've got kid lee who i have to say I, when it comes to aw i love aw i love aw i'm probably the biggest aw fan in the world and i don't care what anyone i'm the biggest aw fan in the world but Man, what they did to Kid Lee was horrible. Oh man, they messed that guy up. Kid Lee had all the momentum in the world, bro. Had all of the momentum in the world, bro. That man was so unique. It was, it is, it is absolutely criminal that they can make someone or nerf someone to that level, putting him in a tag team with sort of. I know people are like, "Ah, oh, it's a great tag team." Yeah, yeah, I don't give up. 
I'll give a damn. Kitley is not a, 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 a or you know, rather, it shouldn't be or shouldn't have been a tag team person from the beginning. Kitley should have ran through, because he ran through every single or wrestler, dude. He should have, he should have annihilated every single person there. I do not see in any way why Kit Lee was made into that character. Man is talented beyond imagination. And only Swerve came out of there. Shout out to Swerve though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shoot himself. But he only like after that he just disappeared. He's just he comes up. I think it was on Rampage or something or Collision or something like that. Like this man, this man I know going to WWE is probably not going to do anything to him. He has to at least build his name up again in AW and will some and win something to have that kind of bargaining chip going back to AA to WWE. Because if he goes back now, it's just still going to be the bear or some shit like that. But this man, I don't like, I'm bleeding with Sony to actually get this man. I need this man to get back his, his limitless, Oh man, it's, it's so sad. Bro. It's so sad. AW really, really dropped the bag with this man. Like I, I don't know what they can do now with with the whole thing. Like if he's not gonna be fighting some more Joe in a triple threat with, I don't know, Luke Hobbs or something like that. Oh man, I, I just I, oh Wardlow. If we're not gonna get a Wardlow versus Keith Lee versus some more Joe match, then AW is flipping. Hey, is it? I don't know why I stopped from swearing. Anyways, next we got Will Hobbs. You know, Will Hobbs is someone who, when he come when he came to AW, was so like, "Oh, this guy now." He looked, he looked a bit. I don't know. He looked, his body looks. He looked disfigured a little bit, but it's fine. He's a past. I mean, he's powerful, apparently. So that's man. That man came and kind of like. Uh, went on to the Taz entourage and all that. I was like, ah, man, maybe he's like, all oh, those guys are still trying to build up and all that. But it's been getting built up till today, bro. <laughs> this, man is, this man has been getting built up till today. I mean, guess what he is now? Just guess. Guess what he is doing right now. Oh, wait. He's a goon. <laughs> he's a goon. This man has so many great matches with Wardlow, with uh, Brian Cage, I don't come on, bro. <laughs> like Will Hobbs should have been at least considered at some point as 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 a, as, as a potential first black uh, AEW world champion. Like his his promos aren't even trash, but I don't think they they give him enough room to to express himself in a way that work that works. Uh, it's not that it's always there, but I'm just not. I, I'm not. I'm not happy with how they're presents to that man heal or not heal i think it's always been healed though isn't it yeah he's not been doing what i what i expect a heavyweight to to be doing i i why why would they man I've, i is this sound this sounds like a very whiny thing but when you have someone like that in your roster you need to use them you need to build them up to a point where everyone who tries to go after them can either get better or horribly worse. And that's not what AEW is doing with their big guys. It's just not it. Lastly, the person who actually prompted uh, prompted me to make this podcast is Wardlow. The Wardlow thing is just, it's sad, really. Because Wardlow, at the very least, has been considered a very good wrestler and aw has been considering him that but they've never they've never like really 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 like pushed the guy to the absolute meaning that man started with mjf who by who by who by themselves are like literally the best the best wrestler in aw if mjf leaves aw aw is gonna probably f fail i'm not gonna lie to you there's no way. MJF, MJF didn't need Tony to push him because he just pushed himself. AEW would have, would have failed with MJF if MJF was not MJF. It doesn't make any sense. But 
him being with MJF gave him that, oh man, you are with someone who's, who was amazing, basically, uh, MJF. And then they had to do that breakup with MJF and it got big after that. It got huge after that, but not huge enough. But with that whole MJF, he even beat MJF before he went on to that whole, I quit AEW and all that. He went on to fight for the TNT champion. That was dope. He won it. It was amazing. But then, in the problem with the TNT championship, he kept losing it, bro. <laughs> he kept losing it. So he, he won it, lost it, and then won it again. Like, that's not who... Like, man. Like, I'm, I'm happy that he lost it to the, to the person he lost it to, so it's not that bad. But why... Why why now, after all of that? After all that build-up? After all that... The, those power bombs? After all those... Because that man... He looks like a perfect. He looks like if if you can if you can mold that man to like I, I think there's there's someone you look at him like a Roman Reigns. Look at oh man, this man could be good in posters. He could man could be what's what's what. This man could have been good in posters. <laughs> he could have been that man. He could have been that guy. But now it's just I don't know, man. Push Orange Cassidy every other fucking second. Ah oh, man, it's fine. I'll go go Eddie Kingston. All those people, man. It's just I understand those guys are good, but now over all these other guys. Like, does Tony even care about brand, bro? I don't, I don't, I don't think he cares about brand. I really don't think he cares about brand. And then this man had the audacity to create a another faction, of course, and it puts him as a ghoul too. <laughs> and now he's like trying to rebuild him up, the same way he builds him up by by him destroying jobbers. This man should be going out there looking for fights. With kidney, with your, with all your big guys, and just saying, I, I, I'm better than you, and just out here power bombing five hundred, and then going to the next one. I'm the be- he should he should be the most dominant person in a dub, but no, now nah, put him in your you know say kingdom. What's what's that group? The kingdom that group with with honestly quite amazing members. I'm not gonna lie, but their group is just why 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 did you put the water there? Man? I don't even want Wardlow in there. I think Wardlow should destroy all those guys next week. They just beat all of them up and then go to uh, to, to 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 what's his name? And I'm calling him beat him up too because now we cannot be out here having Wardlow just being a guy who's out here like being a muscle for other guys who are just injured and all that. Now, now I understand how I just said that, but I love all those guys. By the way, <laughs> I'm just saying I love all those guys. Just like, but there are people who should be. Like for brand, man, we need AW needs AW needs stories, mega stars. It needs mega stars. It needs someone who, even people who know who don't even watch wrestling at all, could know. Oh, uh, and then someone like you know when you ask someone, oh, do you watch wrestling? Oh no, and then they say you know John Cena and all that. Yeah, yeah. and then some say Roman Reigns because yeah, they'll be those guys have been. Push, but then you have these people. Then, who imagine if you were to ask someone, a random person who doesn't know wrestling, do us wrestling? Yeah, oh yeah, do you know? Eh, I know, I know, eh, I know what you know. Imagine how amazing, imagine how big a superstar to be as a second company. So for people to know who you are and they're not even wrestling watches, and that is possible, they can do that. AW can, it's, it's at a, a unique position. Where they can do that, but they're not gonna do that. They should, but they're not gonna do that. I'm worried, man. I'm worried with this whole AW. I don't know. Like I understand there's been so many problems with AW, losing people for them to be more popular or the other threat. Losing people Excuse me. Losing people to be more popular in the other brand. Damn it. Um and then also having infighting, having your biggest stars like your Bill Bakers and all that being heads, and and and, all, and also being unhappy, um, over, over reliance on on nostalgia acts like your Ric Flair, your, your Sting, and all those people, uh, very cruiserweights that they keep getting the shy like your Darby Allen, your well, your your Perry's and all that. It's hard for you to be. I'm not going to act like I understand. But I'm not going to act like I'm happy about it. And as soon as AW can fix the problems they have right now, 
the better their chances of remaining in the scene are.